I get okay. nervous to fall. Sorry. Hey there. Hi. How are you? you? Good to see you again. Thank you. You too, Brian. Um, first of all, you literally, this is, as you said earlier, Manic Monday, because you just got done with your show, right? Yeah, I wore this dress on the show. Same, same wig, same, jewel, same everything. I, right. <laughs> like, no, no, you laugh. I literally walked off the set and into the car and came here. But that kind of is the nature of your life. You usually walk off the set. Your after show starts as your show is ending. Yes. On YouTube. We yep. watch that. Yep. And then that's kind of the nature of your day because you've got this clothing line that we have to talk about. But are you just a non... Have you always been a nonstop kind of person? Well, if I grew up rich, I probably would be able to have some sort of chill. Right. Or maybe I'd be lazy. You know, the nature of me is very sloth-like. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with saying that. Like, you know, I feel like, ugh, working after 35 is not necessarily something that's necessary if you don't have to work after 35. Why? Right. <laughs> if you already know how to write a check and get a mortgage and certain things that you do and you have enough savings, why? Why continue to work? I mean, I work because I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my right. mouth. And now I'm responsible for so many people. Right. Do you... Does that responsibility, does that weigh on you or does that kind of inform what you do each day? You talk about it now, but do you think about it in the course of your day to day? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I think about it and it's what drives me and, and I love it. I, I love that I have that drive only because I know that, you know, I, I don't have an inheritance or something like right. that. Right. Um, but I don't want to work forever. Right. So I work hard now so that tomorrow I don't have to work. Right. Like, I seriously cannot wait to not use an alarm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Although, do you wake up just before your alarm now? Do you yeah. always wake up? Yes. Yeah. Like, just a few minutes? What? Yes. Okay, I do too. Yeah. Um, I've interviewed you a bunch, and I've been on your show, so I feel like I want to... I, a lot of people know your backstory. I don't want to ask too many questions, but I don't want to skip over either. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have been a go-getter from day one yeah. when you wanted to be on the radio, mm -hmm. and you left the country to do it, Yeah. right? And so you've always been doing, you know, you, as you talk about your work ethic, you find creative and fun ways to do it, though. And this clothing line is one of them. Talk to me about oh, that. Oh, yes. Um, well, I have my clothing line at HSN. This is not one of my dresses. This is a DVF dress. These are not my shoes. These are Dior shoes. But when you get a talk show, you know, you'll find out that, you know, they'll buy you nice stuff in the budget. Well, and people expect you to be in a new outfit every day on Wendy. Well, they do. But they, you know what? People expect a lot, okay? <laughs> the, 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 the fact of the matter is, is that I will wear this dress again on the talk show, and I might remix it with something else. And, you know, I wear these shoes again on the show. I'm not that person. Um, but what I love about having a successful talk show, and you know, I appreciate all my Wendy watchers and stuff. Um, what I love having about having a successful talk show is that it's afforded me the opportunity to do other things outside of the talk show. Right, write books. Write books. Produce films. Produce films and TV shows and stuff. Yeah, dance. Uh, dance, yeah. yeah, I was on Dancing with the Stars. Go on Broadway. Yeah, Broadway. But you know, I think that my personal, personal, personal favorite thing, outside of the talk show is my clothing line. Yeah. I love it. I, I love it because I can't believe. <laughs> I can't believe. So you get to do it? Can't yeah. Believe, yeah. I mean, you know, it's an HSN. That was passionate, by the way, what just happened. That's true passion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when I got the talk show, you know, we're in our eighth season. Nine, if you would. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> I called you Suzanne, sir. <laughs> I was just going to say, wait, what? Thank you, sir. Um, but, you know, having the talk show is wonderful. It's great. And it's totally my absolute um, main job. Right. Because without the talk show, nothing else moves. And I totally get that, which is why it's very important right. for me to be on point every day with those hot topics and heartfelt with the Ask Wendy's and say it like I mean it and show up on time and get my sleep. The talk show is everything. Mm -hmm. But I had no idea when getting the talk show that when the double doors opened, people cared about what I was wearing. Right. Versus, you know, what From I'm saying. head to toe, literally. Head. Starting with head all the way down to toe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you we'll know. Get into that further because it would keep going. The wigs, the makeup, the, 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 the heels when I first come out, then the flats that I change into. I had no idea. So when I was afforded the opportunity to um, partner with, you know, HSN, I said, well, this is perfect because I know that they make fashion affordable. Mm -hmm. 
and I think that clothing should be affordable. I, I mean, you know, I, I have a show that buys me stuff, and so, right. you know. But I, you shouldn't be the only one that gets to look good, basically. Like yeah. Everyone should have that. Yeah. Affordable fashions, um, you know, big, big shoes for the size 12 girls, all the way down to the size 5 girls who wear size 5 shoe. They right. call that Thumbelina syndrome or something. I don't even know. Yeah, they, they yeah. <laughs> Thumbelina syndrome. But, I love it. you know, I, and I go to every meeting, and I'm constantly feeling fabrics, and I have a little showroom area at our house. Do you really? Yes. Where, uh, the, Is the, this your office or a different room? No, 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 yeah. it's all one and the same. All, okay. Yeah, my mom cave, but now he's 16. I don't call it a mom cave yeah. anymore, so it's just back to being called my room. Right. <laughs> you know, but there's always buttons to feel and beads and... Is that the fun part? Just the details? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, as we were, you alluded to, designers want you to wear their stuff, but mm -hmm. did, was there ever a time when you struggled to find stuff that fit you properly, that looked good, that cost, like, what was your personal struggle with clothing before, before Wendy who gets a DVF dress, that kind of thing? Um, my personal struggle is that I grew up heavy, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I feel like even when you lose the weight, you still have the mindset of heavy. Yeah. You know, I often find myself still picking out clothing when I go shopping for my own personal self. Right. I come home and, you know, I got a size 10 jean when I should have gotten them in a size 4. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, no, a lot of stretch, a lot of stretch, yeah. a, lot, a lot of stretch, <laughs> a lot of stretch. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, uh, but I, I yeah, y you know, I, I grew up, I grew up heavy, and I'm also tall. Yeah. And um, and those two things weren't. Oh, and also large feet. Okay. So those two, th those three things weren't such a great combination growing up. And um, yeah, my personal struggles with fashion now are, I like to just be able to go in and jump into a dress and get out there because I realize that you know having a talk show. If you are so worried about fat angles, you know, oh my gosh, they're shooting me from this side, they're shooting yeah. me from that side, this is me, then you will miss all the funny, yeah. which is the reason yeah. that people watch. Right. I mean, you know. Yeah. The, I have one of those heads where it looks better head on, but the minute I turn left or right, it kind of goes south, just because I have a weak profile, yeah. you know? And, and so I use, like, some of you like, you don't look like your picture. Like, if I would go on an internet date, like, a yeah. million years ago, I'm like, yeah, because I turn from left to right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I think people, if you, you can get wrapped up in that, though. You, you really can, especially because there are monitors every place where you're seeing yourself. Yeah. And it just, it really did a number on me for our first few seasons being on um, television. Did you watch every episode? When you, do you still now? I or? still watch every episode. Did you really? Four o'clock um, on Channel 9. I better so you be, watch it in real time. I better be in that, t better be in that kitchen making dinner. Okay. <laughs> yeah. no, I like, I'll try and keep this quick. I like to watch our own show, and the reason that I do, it's, um, it's less to do with me and more to do with who's working for me and the people around me. Right. Like, I want to see how Robin's wig turned out. This is right. a brand new one, you know? Yeah. So I want to see. Yeah. You know, um, Memsor's um, dress pick today was absolutely perfect, but could I have had it opened up a little bit more? Right. You know? Um, how do you feel about the cleavage factor today? Was it on point or not? Well, it, it, you know, it could have been a little more, yeah. you know, like I like a push and a line. Yeah. yeah. But... Um, <laughs> Accidents happen, Acc right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but, and then, and then Morel, is it too much makeup? Is it not enough right. makeup? You know, Marilyn with the lighting. Marilyn, why are you lighting me, right. you know, in this particular way? The cameraman, I love my shady cameraman. When I make a joke and they go to that audience, we work together like this. Yes. And so... And your director is fantastic, too. Deb Miller, yes. Deb Miller is fantastic, because she cuts to the moment. Yep. And she knows when not to go away from you for the moment. Yep. Right, okay. And Deb has been with me since our six-week sneak peek. See, it's very important that um, it's, it's got to be like, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you go through um, having people with at your show and then people leave and then other people come in and yeah. so on and so forth. But it's, it really is quite um, important, at least to me, yeah. to have consistency yeah. with, with the people you who work around me. You do. Yeah. Um, so, so I want to get back to the clothes because you... Love. Did you always love clothes as much as you do now? Were you always a clothes person? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, was there anything that when you got the show, Wendy? Yes. Um, you know, because you had to mix it up because you have so many shows, you have so many different looks that you something that you may have tried that you might not have tried before, but you're like, well, I got it. You know, let me try this and see if I like it. That now you like. Was there anything like that? 
last Thursday's dress, Horizontal Stripes. Oh, see, yeah. I loved it. I would never wear horizontal stripes on TV, but this is the thinnest I will ever be in yeah, my yeah. entire life. I am not losing another pound. And so... Nor do you need to. Nor you, am I getting a You've got a rocking body. Let's just say you've got a rocking body and you can Thank rock you. the horizontal stripes. Thank and you. And you eat right. You eat super, like, like I can't even imagine. Ugh. You eat super healthy, right? I'm picking nuts out of my teeth as I talk to you. There's always, a, <laughs> there's always a nut or a quinoa somewhere in the back ready to be pulled out. No, but I am, um, uh, 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 horizontal stripes. Mm -hmm. I'm also... I used to hate wearing sleeveless dresses, yeah. but I would have to, and I would just go along to get along because I was the new girl on right, TV, right. and I really didn't know how to... You know, you know, there is no resume on how to behave when you get your own talk show, other than what you read in magazines, which might be, be nasty to everybody, tell them don't ride your elevator, you yeah. know, be like <laughs> that. that. That's not how um, I operate, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, when I got the talk show and, you know, it's, it's, okay, Wendy, spring is here. I got this lemon yellow dress. Yes, like, it's sleeveless. What? I'm like, what? But I have all the... Uh, okay, give me a cardigan. Wendy, you're going to ruin the look of the dress if you wear a cardigan. Just wear it the way it is. You're only out there for one hour. Oh, my gosh, but it's so cold, I would say. Uh -huh. And now... It was really about this right here. It yeah. really it really was about the jiggle. Now, I could give a damn. Yeah. yeah I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> People don't like side but you know, like when you, when you have... <laughs> yeah. When you have that your sleeves thing, yeah. on. Which happens in real life. It, it, that's it, part it, of your body. All of it happens in real yeah. life. Yeah. And I'm just over it. Yeah. So I get out there, because I like my jokes to shine. Uh, not necessarily the clothing. The clothing is cute. Yeah. But the reason that we're still on is a whole... is a whole lot. But it starts with the jokes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, for sure. It's about entertaining people. You're entertaining people. Yeah. yeah. So this uh, new line comes out in May yes. on HSN. You go down there to do the live broadcast. Yes. Okay. And so first of all, tell me what's the overall kind of like, is there a kind of theme to this line? And then I want to talk to you about going on HSN and what that is like, because that's a whole other thing. So I love it. how would you describe the line right now? Like, what can people expect? All right. Well, um, this is, geez. Uh, um, I've been with HSN since 2015, and I won the um, the new brand award for that year. Which is a big deal. That is a big deal. Because they're 24-7 showing brands and things. So. Yes, yes. And so I won. And so, um, so I've had several different um, collections, but this particular one includes caftans, which I love. Yeah. The full ones that are all the way up, but also the ones that open up and like you can wear them with your jeans. They're, yeah. they're so hot. Yeah. You know, great shoes, jeans. I've never done jeans before. I'm doing jeans okay. with this particular collection. And again, everything is affordable and comfortable. What's the range-ish? Like, do you kind of know the range? Does it start at like... I don't Everything's know. under 100 bucks. No way. You're asking okay. me a lot right now. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's super affordable. Like, I think some people think a celebrity is going to say it's affordable, and then you go and it's like $300. No. Which you actually have real prices for real people. Everything's under $100, and, and I love making things affordable for people because I, you know, honestly, in my real life I am a cheap skate <laughs> well you go to the grocery store you're not all in full hair and makeup at the grocery store you're in comfortable clothes you just want to be comfortable and look yeah good. my uniform yeah. leggings and a black t-shirt right and a pair of sneakers yeah you know and a messy beachy wig yeah so now you go down to HSN and that can be some prime time isn't necessarily two o'clock it could be 2 a.m. Oh, it could yes. be 10 p.m. what's it because you do live you're not you're no stranger to live but how is this different unique fun whatever what is it well first of all when you fly to, HSN is located in Tampa yep. Florida yep. and I've never been there to vacation it's always about business because you know we have you know our kid here who's right. 16 and um, so, you know, I try to get back quick. So I literally do a quick turnaround. There is no... That's exhausting, though. It's exhausting, but it's worth it. Because I'm not working forever. Yeah, and there are, we've are there already, commercials we've already on talked it, about that. There's you no, you know there's no commercials on it, right? No, like, there's no so commercials. So you are nonstop. There's no, like, let's regroup. No. It's like you're on. Oh, no. It's two hours, and they call it Weekends with Wendy. And so then I got, like, a, a, a do a two, two hour show, or one two hour show, and then I might have a break to sleep for, like, five hours, and then I'm back on. Lot, yeah. And then maybe another five hour break, and then I'm back on, and then right to the um, airport, and I come right back to my family. Yeah. Um, and, and you never know who you're going to see on the plane. I've seen even 
Iman yeah. twice going down there. You know, Iman's got her yeah. global chic line on H HSN. And it's a grind. You know, we, we you go down and you do what you do and then you fly back. Mm -hmm. But I love it. Yeah. I love it's talking a to the energy. people. You're connecting with viewers right there in real time. Yeah, yeah, right there in real time. And, you know, there really is no bad time to be on HSN, whether, like you said, 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 2 o'clock in the morning. Because yeah. the HSN woman, she likes to drink her wine. Uh-huh. And then she wakes up, it's like two o'clock in the morning, yep. and she's got that credit card out. Yeah. <laughs> I and once, she, yeah. But she orders stuff, and all, all my stuff um, goes from a size extra small to a size 3X. It's very, very difficult to yeah. design for, um, to have for something sizes. for everyone yeah. in all sizes. Um, but you know, you can't always, you know, it, it is a stupid person that only thinks about themselves right. when they start a business. It's the smart person who thinks about their customer or their potential yeah. customer. Yeah. Um, so. That's great. Yeah. Um, once upon a time, I used to sell furniture on a shopping network in the middle of the night, 2 a.m. And they would, you'd be on, yeah. I really? Drive, I used to leave my office at 5. To drive Pennsylvania? Down, yeah. Oh. And do that and then drive, sleep for two hours, do it again, and then drive back to my office by 9 not like basically you don't sleep. Basically. Yeah, right, right. It was exhausting. But they'd have a thing in your ear. They'd be like, "Talk about the green one." Do you have something in your yes, ear? Yes, yes. Yeah. And I don't even wear something in my ear for the actual talk show, but I do it there because I'm not trying to screw up the line. Right. So because they can see in real time what people are reacting and to. And I don't understand the tote board. How like yeah. you know everything reads down at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. How many of everything that you've sold? I can't focus on that. Yeah. What I'm focusing on. Feeling this fabric, I remember making this dress. Right. Julie, is that you on the phone? Hi, dear. Yeah. All right. Well, happy birthday. Right. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, wait, jewelry. Uh, Julie. Uh, no, that one's not available anymore. Right. <laughs> right. They can tell you literally. Yeah. You walk off and you can see a graph. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 So talk about because people are obsessed with your hair, your wigs. Uh -huh. How important is it? How much attention do you pay to the wig and the outfit, or the hair and the outfit? How important do you think that is? Okay. Um, I'm glad. To I'm glad you asked that. Thank you. That's the highest compliment you can get when someone says you asked the right question. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so, you know, our show is live out of New York at 10 a.m. I have yet to be late for a show, although there was that one day that I did walk in with my coat on and my handbag and just put everything down and said, let's get started. It's time for a hot topic. No way, really? But, yeah, okay, oh, yes. Another story. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, but we're live out of New York at 10, and I usually get there, I skate through the door, like, 8 o'clock, 8.15. That's early, though. But you're getting all your hot topics. Your hot topics, unlike other shows, I will say, are hot. Like, they are still steaming when they come to but you. Like, I, I just feel like that's a little bit negligent. You know what I mean? To, to, what is it? Going getting at 8.15 8 really? for a show that's live at 10. But I can't help but, like, the traffic, the yeah. freaking 495 right. Viaduct, yeah. Yeah. That, that Lincoln Tunnel, I know. damn traffic, and I'm there, you know, beeping with everybody else. But um, um, I can tell you, when I get there now, because I'm very comfortable with my weight, it is what it is. You know, I don't care. You look great. I have okay. him. I have him put. You put three outfits out for me. Okay. And I'll choose any one of the three. We no longer have arguments in wardrobe. Oh please, there used to be chair throwing. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know, more Springer, actually. Yeah, yeah. Chair, throwing chair throwing and talk <laughs> spitting. You know, that's when you talk so hard, you're <laughs> right. spitting. Like I'm not wearing that again. <laughs> you know? And but and you, and you can't, even though it's my show. You hire qualified people, so you've got to let people do their jobs. I totally believe that. You've got to let people do their jobs. So he'll pick out, like, three dresses. Yes. And then I'll pick which one that I like. Okay. Now, sometimes I need a fourth and fifth choice. Now, right. I'm not going to say yeah. I lay down like a lap dog okay, every day. <laughs> but, he, but he knows what I like. You know, he gets cute stuff. Yeah. And then after the dress is picked, then I show um, the Robin. You know, we pick out a wig, any wig at all. This is long sleeve, Robin. Do you want it to be short, long? I, I don't. I have, don't have time for that argument anymore right. either. Yeah. What's the one hairstyle that you just don't want to do? Is because you don't do a lot of short hair. I've seen you do, do like a bob above the ear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm. Because I feel like you could rock it. Yeah, but I'm starting to get the neck. Oh well. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but. <laughs> You know, you can moisturize all day long, but when right. you start to get the neck... It's the one thing you really can't do anything No, for people try. Yeah, Even those neck try. lifts, they look so yeah, stupid. No, right. Only the, the thing about getting the neck, though, is I'd rather have the veiny neck than the roly-poly neck. Yeah. With the ring in, in the yeah. middle, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm starting to get the neck, yeah. and I don't, I don't feel as though my jawline is strong enough. 
Um, I feel like you have to have like a Demi Lovato right. shaped face, right. or, you know, like. Or you do like the Diane Keaton, where you like wear a turtleneck on a ninety degree day in August, you know, like she's with a short wig. with a short wig, right. yeah. and that's always so obvious yeah. when the girls hide the neck. It's just right. like, okay, yeah, don't, just don't let the neck it. go. Don't use camouflage. Like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let the neck right. neck go. Right. Um, the line comes out in May. It's spring looks, all under a hundred dollars, from caftans to jeans to oh turbans with turbans. brooches. Yes. Ugh. Wait, turbans with brooches, like Sunset Boulevard? Kind yes. Of like you know I have a flair for the drama. Yeah. And so <laughs> I, I had to, known. I love to bring that to, you know, my, yeah. my people. Um, but it's been going really, really well, the HSN line. And the talk show's been going very well. And the production company and all that other kind of stuff. I have an app coming out. Oh. What kind of app? Is it a Wendy show app or just Wendy, what is it? Wendy off the show. Uh, Wendy just being Wendy. Oh my gosh. And are you going to just like grab your phone at some point and just like roll on it goes right to the app or something? Is yes. It, oh my yes. god. Yes. 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 That's fantastic. Yes. When do we see that? Um you to be continued? No, May. May. They it's have an actual be, date, but it's I It's going to be a big month. May is going to be a big month for you. Okay, quick Mother's question day? and we're going to ask oh. um, the audience some questions or the audience is going to ask you some questions. Okay. But what's the biggest mistake you think people make with clothes? that you hope to fix or you think this will help with? Is they there spend one? too much for them. Oh, perfect. Oh, too much, please. You know, you know, as a woman or even as a man, your weight goes up, your weight goes down. Mm -hmm. You spent, you know, like, I think this might be a $500 dress. I didn't buy it, I got a show. <laughs> <laughs> when you get your show, you make sure that you make sure they, they buy you some nice stuff too. Right. <laughs> but, but I will tell you, in my real life, $500 for a dress, and I'm a woman with a good job. I'm yeah. not spending that. Right. I, I'm not spending that. But what I will spend on mm -hmm. is a good watch and some good jewelry. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I can't even say good shoes. A reasonable pair of shoes. Yeah. Because the shoes also turn on you. As you uh, either get older or you get weird yeah. and you're walking and stuff. Who wants to, you know, have an yeah. $800 pair of Christian right. uh, Dior's uh, just sitting in your closet for nothing? Right. And if you're walking down a Manhattan but street... But I got these, the show bought these. Right. <laughs> Everybody relax. And the truth is, is if you're walking down, up and down Manhattan streets all the time, just like living and, and breathing in New York, you don't buy shoes, you rent them, because they are going to give out on you faster than anywhere else. I say the same thing with uh, actual clothing, though. Yeah. I think that um, buying a really important coat, like a really yeah. important Burberry yeah. trench, yeah. spend, spend. Yes, that's where you do it. That's what Smart. you do. Okay, we have a couple audience questions. Where should we start? Hi. Hi, Hi Wendy. How you How doing? You doing? <laughs> um, no, I just wanted to ask, like, well, congratulations on everything that's going on with you, with the clothing line, the Thank book, you. hopefully the app. But coming from a girl from Jersey, like, did you ever think you would be doing this? Like, everything that blessings that are coming your way did you ever think you'll be at the top of your game right now no no I, I you know I wanted to be a radio DJ I knew I was really good at that but for, for, but for whatever reason I saw marriage and children more in my future than being captain of industry <laughs> you know you know like I, I figured you know all right I'll be uh, you know a midday DJ you know which is equivalent to being overnights you know, I'll be a nice midday DJ and I'll get married to a nice man and he'll have a terrific job and I'll know how to throw fabulous dinner parties and the children will always be clean and I'll always be prepped and ready and, and I'll have my career, but that'll be that. No, I never dreamt this big because nobody ever told me I could. So what drove you to keep going then? We, like to keep doing more? Is it just because of that, what you said earlier, like keep working so you don't have to work someday? Was that kind of it? Yeah, well, when I realized that men are heels and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. When I realized we're not all terrible. No, but you know what? I grew up in a very traditional um, um, background. My parents yeah. are still married. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. They've been married for 65 years. Yeah, exactly. Wow. They still hold hands when they sleep. So, and my mom, my mom was a career gal, you know, but she also raised three children and kept her nails done and her waist tight for my dad, and always had something fabulously delicious in the oven at dinner time. So I said, this doesn't seem like such a bad life. I don't mind this life at all. Uh, no, so as things started to happen for me, Brian, I started to realize, well, then let me see what else I can do. Yeah. What, else, what else is gonna happen? Did you get more <laughs> fearless or did part of you say, what do I have to lose? Like, I know I have this, so let's try other things. Or do you feel that you're braver now than you were seven years ago or 10 years ago? Um, I am way braver now than I was 
even two years ago. Yeah. I am not scared to jump out of the window with anything. And I feel like the best horse in the race for you to bet on is yourself. You know, even over your mom, dad, your partner, whoever, whatever with them. You know, you have to learn to be your own best friend at some particular point, and that takes time. And also, bet on yourself when no one else will. And never keep a job you don't like. But don't quit until you have your next one. Don't be a fool. <laughs> right? Like, don't, don't be a fool. You know I've played by that rule a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah so. And by the way, we need to tweet that entire thing out, what you just said. Because that is but, the but lesson. But now I am fearless. I used to be very fearful, though, Brian. And now I, I'm fearless. I'm as fearless as I'm going to be. Right. <laughs> you know, I do have fears, but yeah, yeah, which is normal. You yeah. don't want to, you know, be okay. What, so, what's your next question here? Hi, Wendy. Hey. I'm curious to know what was the first piece of advice you were given, and do you still take that advice with you today? Ooh. Any early career advice you got, or life advice? I mean, well, my parents would tell me when I was a little girl, "Don't talk so much." <laughs> Please. But as you can see, parents don't know everything. Um, and then my father um, said to me, you know, choose a career that uh, you don't mind waking up to m the majority of the time, and you will never work a day in your life. And he is so correct. You feel like you're living that now? Yeah. I, I wanted to be a radio DJ since I was in sixth grade. I, I already knew that. I knew that. So that I hunted for. I hunted that down. I shot that bear and got it good. You know, and but then <laughs> you did, but then, and then some. Yeah, you're renewed till what year? Well, the talk show now is renewed till 2020. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I miss radio, um, but I miss radio. But I don't have time for that. You know, I have to be fair to my family. I have to be fair to myself. I mean, you know, I, I gotta get home and lay on the couch. <laughs> By four, so they can watch By WOR, four, right? To, yep, to we watch have, uh, the Wendy Williams yeah. show. Well, I have to say, I love you. I do. And I know your fans are crazy about you, too. So thank, thank you. you for all thank you, you are. All, thank you all for being here. HSN this May. Yes. And you can go on hsn.com right now. There are, th you know, I, there's... <laughs> All right, Suzanne. <laughs> um, no, hsn.com, um, there are things already there. I've been there, like I said, since 2015. I really do enjoy the design process. Right. And But most of all, I really do enjoy doing our talk show. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we'll hear lots of updates about it on the show, on your after show, and yeah, on yes. Twitter. So oh, yes. we can follow you on social oh, yes. for more Wendy. Thank you so much, Wendy Williams. Thank you, everybody.